What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the SH Monster House Godzilla 1991 Shinjuku Decisive Battle version. It doesn't say version, I added that in because I usually add it in. There is a Godzilla on a pretty standard style Monster Arts box with everything getting peeled back. I don't remember all these lines on that, but that's cool. It gives it a more metallic feel like peeling back metal. Uh, I also, uh, I said this in the unboxing, but I don't remember um, the movie titles beyond there, but I could be misremembering as is possible. You know, there's the box. It's pretty standard. There's nothing crazy about the box. Obviously, he's not in the box because obviously, you already seen me do an unboxing of this guy. So, it's not the unboxing. No need to put him back in the box, right? You already seen me do that. Go check out my unboxing. It's quite cool. You'll get my initial thoughts before these official thoughts. But... I got this at HLJ.com. It is currently sold out there, but I have a you know a link to another order uh, way to order this guy. I forget which one it is at this moment, but you'll be able to get him, and the price won't be that different. So, without any further ado, let's get to this review. And here is Godzilla. I was going to say out of the package, but he wasn't in the package in the opening. But he, here he is. He is out of the package. I'm not lying there, right? Uh, and he's he's pretty decent overall, I have to say. Not without a little bit of quirks here and there. Uh, but he's pretty decent. Uh, I, I do like him. He's pretty solid for the most part. Let's do articulation first because that's, you know, a spot where we end up running into problems sometimes because things tend to fall apart. Um, he has a jaw that opens and closes. His head moves like so. A couple of joints there in the neck. Works pretty good. I think the um, the body actually works really nicely. You know? This feels really good. Like, he leans forward pretty, pretty nice. So they gave him some decent body movement there. I'm very happy about that. The shoulders come out like that, swivel there, you know, the bicep, double jointed elbow, which is all covered up and stuff. Then you got the wrists that are on hinges as well, and they can swivel. The legs come out like that. I like how they did the thighs here. They, they're pretty good. The uh, hips, not bad. Good movement out of the hips, actually, for uh, one of these figures, in my opinion. Then the knees work pretty good. And then the feet have an absolutely excellent rocker. And I think this is because there's no floating piece in here. So there's a lot more freer movement. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Then the tail. One little problem here I found is this. Not that this pops out. But I feel like it's kind of like loose a bit. The you know the not the main joint. I guess it is the main joint, right? That would be the main joint. I think this might be a floating piece over here. Um, but right there at this connection, at least, yeah. See that it's pretty loose. So I was able to push it in more, and then it gets more solid. But I think this needs it. I, I do want to pop this out and see what's going on in that joint. Because it does get a little loose on that one. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Movement-wise. And that kind of helps it a little bit, I gotta say. So it's got a ton of segments, as always, you know? And you know what? Your mind's gonna vary, see? That hasn't happened to me yet, but... Uh, it's bound to happen. You move these tails around, and you, they're ball joints. They're gonna pop out. The you know, there's not a lot of clearance there in any of the ball, and that's you know, part and parcel for the line uh, across the line. The tail joints. Some are just gonna give you more problems than others. Um, this one, like I said, that hasn't popped out till just now, um, but you know, it's moving pretty well. And again, this one, which is loose on me, isn't popping out. So there's that. So you're still getting a lot of great articulation and able to do a lot with the tail. It's a pretty good tail overall, like nice and long. But I think the articulation on this guy is pretty good. I really like that 
waist movement. I mean, I feel like that's that's a lot better than I've seen at a Monstar in a while for Godzilla himself, you know? Um, so, I gotta say, I, I kind of like that a lot. So, pretty, pretty good there. You know, th that popping out didn't bother me. I've had way... Of course, you guys know. Um, this is kind of an issue, but not really because it's... Look, it's, it's staying now. Um, so, I do want to get in there. I'm not going to do it now. But, you know, I do want to get in there and see what's going on in this joint. Because it does feel loose, but, you know, it, it's it's not hurting the figure at all. But it does feel loose. I'm definitely pointing that out. And just to show you, I did pop this out. I was curious. Um, so this is the main joint. So this piece here is just around this. But this is the main joint here. And... Uh, I'm not seeing anything crazy. I'm not seeing any new, like, crazy plastic hanging out or anything crazy going on there. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, maybe some fits will be better than others, but, you know, it's working and it's not popping out on me. I, I pulled that out, so at the very least, that's good. All right, but let's take a look at this guy in full. Proportions are excellent. I mean... I mean, maybe you just saw it in, you know, all of the posing, but he looks really, really good posed. I, I really like him a lot. Um, not too much gappage. You do see a little bit here and there, but it's not like you see super straight through it or anything. So it's pretty, pretty good uh, in that regard. So I, I like it. I mean, for the most part, everything is covered up well. And again, proportions are excellent on this guy. I really, really like it. You know, you can see the progression, you know, from 19, uh, 1989 to this, uh, and then to some of their older models, you know, like the birth Godzilla model and stuff, and the ones bef after that, which are based on the later Godzilla. But you can see, like, that this is the middle ground, and he's got a good chunkiness like some of those figures. Um, and I like that. I think it's a good return to that form, you know, like, the, the 89 was okay, but I think, I think this is better in a lot of ways, like, it just looks good, you know, like, solid looking Godzilla. I'll start at the bottom, though, to get more, uh, close up. I have, like, some tape on my finger. In fact, tape gate is done, but feet look really good. The nails are perfectly painted. Very, very nice on both feet. Nice, beautiful gloss there. It looks pretty good. Oh, I spoke too soon. I have a little bit of a paint chip right on that one. That's a bummer. <laughs> I spoke so soon, but that's all right. You know, the rest are pretty good. What about the nails? Let's let's get all the nail, uh, the fingernails out of the way. This one looks really good. This one looks really good too. So one nail out of ten. Pen has one little um, scrape on it, unfortunately. It is what it is. It's going to happen, but that's a bummer. Otherwise, I think the nails look really, really good. The legs look pretty good. You got the standard, awesome, awesome, you know, SH Monstar. It's detail within. Beautiful stuff. There's no doubt about it. There's so much work that goes into this. The charcoal gray looks really good. You know, a little bit of wash over. That is nice. Legs look fantastic. Nice and chunky. You see a lot of the musculature. The knee is nice and bulbous. Uh, I like all the folds and wrinkles in the ankles there. That looks really good. The toes in general look awesome. That's what the bottom of the feet look like. Looking pretty, pretty good. Underneath here, the tail looks really nice. All the way to the end here. Overhead, pretty good. Dorsal fins, as you can see, they're sprayed gray down here. And then you get to the top, and then they start to get a little bit lighter. I think the gradation is pretty good from the darker gray into the lighter gray. Very, very nice. Tail looks very good overall. The texture is fantastic on it. I like it a lot. Then we look at the dorsal fins from here. All of that is looking pretty good. The darker gray again in the middle going out towards the lighter gray. Just looks really good. I like the little row there. That is 
pretty awesome. These are very nice dorsals. This is the overhead on the dorsal. Here we go. It's pretty good. I feel like there's like movement in these dorsals, you know, that's how uh, it looks. The alignment's a little weird on this one. Can you tell? It feels like a little bit off. I don't know if I could move that or not. I don't want to. Um, but it does feel a little slight bit off. But everything else looks really good. All the way down. I love how the dorsals look going down. Very, very nicely done. Krajiji section. Is a cross easy section and looks fine. Chest looks pretty good too. Again, you can see that a little bit of a darker wash over the gray, and I like that. The arms have a nice shape to them. I like the shape on the body too, I gotta say. The arms look really good. Nice thick biceps. Let's, let me let me let me zoom in here. So um, keep the focus. Hands have a lot of detail. Very nice. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty, pretty good. A lot of awesome folds and wrinkles in the arms. Pretty excellent looking. Then the neck looks pretty good. A couple segments there. You got the little dorsals going up to the head. That's what the overhead looks like. Sufficiently awesome Godzilla looking. His nose looks pretty good. The maw, the eyebrows. Pretty nice. And then... That eye looks pretty good. Very, very nicely done. That eye looks pretty good too. But I have to say, I think it's... I've been looking at this since my unboxing. And it feels like either this eye is moved over just a tad. He's not He's not really like cross-eyed. But I feel like... Or I, you know what? His brow. This is what I think it is. His brow looks he, he's got like a rock thing going almost where this brown looks more pronounced than this brown is kind of coming down over the eye a little bit too much on that one can you see what i'm saying but otherwise i mean i think the eyes look pretty good like you look at them he's obviously looking up a little bit because this is the final battle version and he's looking up at king Ghidorah, mecha king Ghidorah. you know that's that's the point here <laughs> um so that's pretty good. The ears look really good. Side profile looks good. I think the teeth came out very nice. Bottom row of teeth look pretty good. Top row of teeth look nice and gnarly and good. From this side, everything is looking pretty decent too. From the front, I do, I said this in the unboxing, and I do have like, what looks like, why can't I see it in every angle? Maybe it's just, dirty looking but right there feels like there's a tad bit, you know what you know what i'm seeing there is a tad bit of red on the tooth but i think at least on the inner part maybe it's just dark and i'm seeing the red from the inside shining through do you see what i'm talking about guys i'm i'm struggling here with the focus but yeah it's a little bit dark in there but you can't see it through and yeah you know what it is when you look this way the red from the inside of the mouth shines through that's what it is okay it's it's not crazy but the inside of the mouth looks really really good very very nicely done tongue is really nice oh yeah tongue moves that's an articulation point i forgot but the tongue moves that's camera sorry but looking good, looking good, you know? I mean, overall, looking very good, feeling good. He's nice, a nice feeling Godzilla. Again, except for the tail feeling a little loose right there, he feels really, really good. And, you know, one of the things about SH Monstar that I like is the plastic quality. It feels good. This is what I've come to know as the more like expensive prestigious plastic um it doesn't feel like you know the plastic that other companies use on you know I, not saying anything but the the cheaper priced figures have a different plastic and that's good plastic too i like it it feels different though 
I've always loved the feel. And I've talked about this since day one here. Um, the SH Monster Arts plastic just exudes a quality to it. Um, that, I mean, if you ever handle these figures, you'd get. It just, fe you know, and nothing pops out on you and you feel... <laughs> and that doesn't piss you off or whatever. Uh, if it does... Um, but the plastic quality itself, you know, let's not talk about anything else because that's what I'm trying to uh, say. The plastic quality itself always has felt like top notch. And when people like say these guys are overpriced, an opinion, it's an opinion because, you know, for all the people that say that there's ever, you know, so many other people that can feel this and go, hey, no way. This is like. This plastic just feels quality. It feels different. You know, like there's something about it. The way it takes texture and paint, it's just different. I don't know. I really like it. I always have liked it. It's it's really good. Um, so, yeah. This figure looks awesome. He does. Uh, very, very little to complain about. I'm pretty, pretty happy here. So, you know. Not bad, guys. Not a bad Godzilla 91 at all. And one last thing before we get to size comparisons, just to like get in before uh, some comments about it. Um, this guy doesn't come with any accessories. I'm totally fine with that. It, it's pretty much on par with the line. However, it's on par with the base figures, meaning Godzilla doesn't need a beam effect when he doesn't have like lit up dorsal fins. Um, color these blue and give me a, uh, give me a beam. Otherwise, I don't really care for it. You know, like I like the full look of that. Uh, I don't need a beam just to have a beam. You know what I'm saying? Like when I think of Godzilla with a beam, his dorsal fins are usually lit up. So um, to me personally, it's never an issue. I don't feel cheated. Uh, none of that. So, you know, just just wanted to get that comment in there before your comments about, oh, this it doesn't come with a beam. You know, it's it's overpriced and all of that. How can it not come with a beam? Because Godzilla doesn't shoot a beam all the time. And for your size comparison, here is a bunch of SH Monster Arts, including a little Monsterverse, a little Showa. Uh, and then uh, we got the recent G89, who I definitely didn't like as much as uh, the new G91. And then uh, we got the, you know, original Heisei uh, Godzilla 94, 95, whatever, 94. Um, so, yeah, who I don't think I've busted out into uh, for a review in a long time. And then, of course, we got the two Ghidorahs from the movie. Now... This particular version of G91 really goes with Mecha King Ghidorah. And also, these are both the originals. I never upgraded um, either one of them. You know, I, I'm I'm kind of like that with, you know, a lot of the repaints. I'm, I'm like, e yeah, I, sometimes I just don't want to do it. Uh, and early on, I just, I definitely didn't want to do it. But, I mean, this was earlier on and this was... Uh, later, I just, I really liked them. I, I, they, they were fine. Actually, I didn't really like them. I actually hate them. <laughs> Uh, Mecha King Ghidorah, and uh, that's why I never really wanted to upgrade that, because I just didn't want to deal with it again. But anywho, um, size-wise, I think, you know, G80, um, G91 here looks pretty good with them, because they were huge, and yeah, I think it works. Maybe he might be a little bit small, but they were very, very, very big, so I, I think it's in the ballpark, for sure. And my final thoughts, I think this is a pretty solid SH Monster Arts release. Mine turned out pretty good, honestly. Um, a few minor little issues here and there, you know, a little scratch here. Um, the thing I was saying with the eye, it's not like messed up. I just feel like maybe the, the eyebrow is pressing down a little bit too much on one side. Like the sculpt looks a little weird there, but otherwise, like, I, I, I like it. I think the paint is very good. It feels really nice. It's not falling apart on me, which is always a plus. I do have a little bit of a loose tail in the back here, but 
it, it's not bothering me like to the point of not liking this figure. I think it's pretty decent, honestly. Uh, it turned out really well, and he, he's really fun to mess with because he's not volume bar, right? Uh, but I, I like the movement of it, you know? I feel like the articulation feels kind of better than a lot of Godzilla releases from SH Monster Art. So, that's a real plus. Uh, I, I really, really dig that. So, there you go, guys. That's my review. It's, it's, it's a pretty decent one for me. The mileage is going to vary. Results will vary. Just putting it out there. Um, but... I like it. it. It's fine. It's a totally fine release from SH Monster, and there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content, and let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peace.